Hey guys, today I want to show you a new feature from Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns and of course it's actually available for everybody, it's a new setting. It is action camera and I've been having a lot of fun with it, not with every class, I've been doing so with my ranger, but let's get to that in a, in a little bit. First, let me show you, uh, or let me explain to you a little bit of how cameras work in Guild Wars 2. Let's do a recap. So, basically, what you normally do is you hold your right mouse button, and you just, I'm uh, walking for some reason, and you just look around while you're moving, right? And uh, if you want to shoot something, you either click it, Right? You can use a shortcut like maybe shift in my case, which selects the uh, closest target, or you can use tab and it will alternate from between different targets, right? Pretty common stuff, that's usually the way you do it. There are some, some problems with this, right, that the action camera solves and of course creates a bunch of other problems, uh, most commonly being the fact that whenever you want to use, say, a leap action to run away from battle and you have something selected, you will run towards it, uh, <laughs> and stuff like that. Action camera will feel way more natural in some sense, it will feel more like a third-person shooter, so let me show you how that works. So, I will show you all the configurations and stuff in a second, and how you can actually activate this, but first let's talk about action camera. There we go, now we are in action camera. So as you can see, I have a reticle in the middle of the screen, and as I move my mouse, it's just moving the camera with it, like you would on a first or third person shooter, right? Or first third person camera game, right? Um, no, mo most of them, right? Um, and this is pretty interesting, I can actually run away or from, uh, from or to the camera, as you can see I'm running towards the camera in this case, then running away from it. That, that is actually new uh, for Guild Wars 2. And um, as you can, you can see in my case, I have pushed the character to the side and before it was kind of like nausea inducing because I didn't have a reticle in the middle of the screen, sort of like, you know, games like uh, Mirror's Edge that didn't have a reticle either and then people got, got like freaked out. That's why you have a reticle in the middle of the screen and right now it's to see where you're pointing at, what you're going to be selecting, right? So uh, it actually made it easier for me to use this mode and this makes it more like a third person shooter, right? Because you have the character like, I don't know, like Metal Gear Solid or stuff like that on which you have the ca the character on the left side of the or right side of the screen, which is kind of cool. And uh, the interesting thing about this is that you can, let's fire, find a Firefly, I don't like fighting those. So um, you can use the right click to select a target, right? So you can see right here, I'm selecting this. Well, actually we'll prioritize those that are, that are enemies, but you get the idea. And um, I mean, I can right click to deselect something, right? But most interestingly enough, I can shoot it, right? Even if it's not selected, I can actually go ahead and shoot it and start shooting it by just pressing the left mouse button. That is pretty cool, like a shooter. Then of course, you're gonna wanna use all your skills because otherwise you're gonna be handicapped. So use all the skills, go nuts. As usual, you just press the buttons. It's kinda nice that you wanna, you, you point at stuff. Actually, one of the first reactions that you'll have is actually try to aim for the head then you'll realize that doesn't matter in Guild Wars 2 as long as you shoot a target that that is good there's no headshot but um one other interesting thing about this is that um say if you have this target right right and you have let me let me actually equip my uh great sword right here so um what will happen if i leap well, right now we will actually leap towards this guy. If I'm pointing this way, what? Well, normally what will happen is that you're just gonna leap backwards, back to the target. Whenever you're trying to escape somebody, if you forget to uh, unselect them, then you will just leap towards them and that sucks. But in the case of the action camera, you can see this guy is selected. I'm gonna leap forward and I'm actually gonna leap forward. Why? Well, because the action camera makes the camera takes precedence over many, many other things. I can actually shoot like on this side and it won't aim the Firefly, which normally it would, right? If you're aiming that way, but you press the fire button, it will still shoot the Firefly because it's selected, right? So the camera takes precedence. Whatever you're pointing at is more important than the target. But as you can see, it has some radius. I can have this guy selected and you can see that that circle around the uh, reticle uh, that is active way, way beyond that point. I can still shoot that way and we'll keep on doing it. If I shoot that, you know, if I shoot that way, it's not going to work. But if I do it somewhat closer to it, it will pretty much autocorrect it and point towards the target. 
right? I'm using auto targeting to, you know, just promote you know targets to actual well, selections so i can keep on shooting at it and use other skills and there is of course other interesting settings like i can actually uh start shooting that way with rapid fire and then continue that way see i just finished it on this guy which is new but that is actually a setting so we're gonna actually well finish this guy and jump over to the settings right okay, there we go all right so if we take a look at the settings that's what we're gonna do right now so we're gonna see that right now i have of course horizontal position set this way normally you have it like this right that's how you play but i'm doing it this way because a it feels more like a third person shooter so that is kind of cool and um i can also see what's behind the reticle otherwise i wouldn't if you have this right in the center then you wouldn't be able to see what's behind it. And aiming may becomes way more problematic. Then, of course, you can actually zoom out, right? And if you zoom out way far, you can actually use the action camera way better, right? Um, in that term. But if you want to play close, I normally plays, uh, play really closely unless I'm doing like PvP or something like that. I will actually want to be able to have my character closer to the screen and therefore I need, need it on the side so I can see what I'm shooting at. The other setting, right, but this is just personal, you can just do whatever you want. Uh, by the way, um, I normally play with inverted uh, camera axis, but I can't do it on this mode, of course, because it won't feel like a third person shooter, really. Uh, because normally, you know, you move up, you move down, you move right, you move left, and you expect everything to move that way, right? Uh, but so far, yes, I've been playing with inverted camera Y axis, in case you were wondering. <laughs> So, one of the settings you will actually want to activate that I normally don't play with is auto-targeting. So, you don't have to micromanage and right-click everything, so you're always shooting something, right? Unless you definitely want to play, like, just, you know, if I if I shoot the right direction, then I hit it, otherwise I don't, kind of thing, right? That can work, you know, you can have fun that way. Then you um, you may play around with the lock ground target or snap ground target. Let me explain you what that, what that is. So, lock uh, ground target, right? Uh, will pretty much force this thing uh, to never never go farther than it can, right? So you can see this this is green, right? And if I move farther, you can see it puts, puts a limit. I'm pretty much pointing to the sky, but it's still green down there, right? It's, it's allowing me to shoot as far as I can without it going, you know, red, like disable. And that thing, I think it's chasing me, so we're gonna run away. Um, I'm not using it that way, but that is something you can do. Um, I, I could just leave it on, but normally, you know, uh, I want to test if I can reach something or not. Sometimes I just use it for that. And another thing is snap. Snap is interesting. You can actually, uh, whenever you are selecting something, right, or you just have the, the pointer on it, it will move that, um, that uh, uh, AOE spot to whatever the feet of that uh, NPC or target that player is. So if the target moves, and let's find a target that moves because no, no, none of them are doing that. Okay. Well, it just will point it there, right? Pretty much. If I right click this guy, it's, oh shit, I think it saw me. But you can see, see, see how it's moving? All right, we gotta, we gotta run, but you, you saw that, right? <laughs> that, that's the important thing. I mean, I would fight him, but I really just wanna do this faster. <laughs> so you guys get, get more information in less time. Oh shit. We're not in the best spot ever, are we? And um, and uh, allow skill retargeting is what allow me to start a, a rapid fire on one target and finish it on another one. That is actually quite cool and I strongly recommend you turn it on for this kind of gameplay. Um, as you can see, ground targeting is not the strongest side of uh, the action camera. The reason why I don't really use, uh, use it for, with my... Uh, elementalist or or necromancer because uh i don't, I don't know it just it, it's just really odd to do this right if you have a lot of aoe's uh you know a lot of ground targeting sorry then you pff, yeah you're gonna have a really hard time with this now one more thing about this is maybe even the most important side is how do you freaking turn this on i've seen people just going all over the places trying to turn this on and not knowing exactly how to do it and the reason why is because there's no setting for this the way you turn it on it's actually by assigning a hotkey to it and you have to scroll all the way down to the camera and then you can well in my case i set it to f8 on toggle action camera right so uh in my case i can use f8 or as i said it 
um, the thumb button on my uh, Logitech G502, the, that's a mouse by the way. So whenever I press that, I can quickly swap from uh, and to the action camera. And that is actually important that you have a very comfortable and easy, fast way to swap between each other uh, because you normally will wanna free uh, the camera to use the mouse to hover on stuff, see what the progress is, see what that is, hover on th that new stuff you know, uh, condition or icon that you don't know because there are so many new things, you know, you want to see what, you know, this new staff skill does that normally you wouldn't know, right? So, uh, that that is why you need, I, even if I set it to F8, which is like a really annoying key, then I, you know, use my mouse to, to bind it to a, a, to a button that I actually have a finger on. So I can e quickly, but very, very, very quickly just switch from one to another. That's gonna be critical if you don't wanna be burned out and just hate this mode in the first 20 seconds. So that's that's gonna be my recommendation for you. From my experience, I've just been having a lot of fun playing like this. It's just really fun. It's just, oh yes, I love it. It just, it feels really cool. And I love to play like really close up, um, but you can play, you know, whatever way you want. No, I'm not here. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, I'm here. All right. I know that, that was silly, anyways. So yes, um, definitely I strongly recommend you try this out, give it a chance, really. Just give it another chance if you had a, a you know, bad time and um, I think I think we're just better off just, just leaving this spot. We're gonna jump away. But yes, that is all. Hopefully this inspired you to uh, try that mode again or try it for the first time. Now you know how to set it, a few configuration options. I don't know if I'll make it because I don't have a HUD activated. We'll find out in a second. Oh, look at that. And yeah, that is all. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna try to escape from here and make sure you subscribe if you would like to see more Guild Wars 2 awesomeness. And I will see you next time. Oh, this is the most satisfying thing ever. We are God in SimCity 4. Wow, that was loud. Oh, you're gonna eat that, huh? You're gonna eat it. I see. What? Nothing. Okay. And now she is tossing that salad with her... Stop sticking your finger in your ear! Alright, she's tossing the salad with her earwax. It does. Yeah. It does. <laughs> it does not really well. Okay. Oh, they're coming for you, I, Pablo! Shit, Run! Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just road trips, man, are killing me. Anyway, let me know whenever we are recording. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Extended Play. I'm your host, this is Stuart, and that is a fancy, fancy sign. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.